Denver, Colorado is the site. This is the DKA U.S. Bantamweight Championship. And Harvey Cruz had a very rough third round. As we see here, a hook hit him while he was dazed, and it did stagger him. It didn't hit on the surface of the glove, but it was enough after a spinning back kick to mean the difference, and it put him to the canvas. Harvey Cruz in trouble at the end of that third round. This is round number four. Larry Black along with Richard Jackson ringside. Cruz with the black belt on, the white stripe down his leg. Garcia now wanting to do some damage in this fourth round. Cruz complaining that one of those kicks might have landed while his leg was up in the air, a little bit low. Garcia looking much more confident. Garcia definitely looking like he wants to press that advantage. There's the spinning back fist, jammed. Round kick to the head and he's down. That round kick put him down. It doesn't look like, he, yes, he's getting up. I thought he was out of it the way he covered his eyes, but he is back up, receives the mandatory eight count and is ready to go. Harvey Cruz does not want to be in this ring at this time. It's in his eyes. He's not really trying to fight back. He's, he's got his hands up as if to cover, but every time something lands, he staggers and loses his balance. Side kick to the body. Every time Garcia mounts an attack, Cruz just backs up and covers up. There's a left hook. He's down in a front kick to the face. He's on the canvas again. That's the second knockdown in this round. Cruz is trying to get back up. His trainer is saying quit. He's saying, I'm fine. I want to continue. I'm not out of it. I still want to continue. A spinning back fist to the back of the head. Spinning back fist by Cruz. Cruz does not want to give up. He throws another spinning back fist, but catches a left hook instead. Garcia bleeding from the nose right now. Unbelievable that Cruz can take that kind of punishment, two knockdowns, and still continue. He refuses to quit. It looks as though Garcia is winded from knocking Cruz down. He throws a spinning back kick at the bell, and we'll be back. There's the bell starting round number five. And Cruz starts out with a flying sidekick to let Garcia know he is not ready to go down. This is the round that Cruz said he was going to knock out Garcia if he did not knock him down in the first. Cruz looks more confident in this round. He's coming out, he's bouncing on his feet. He's got his hands high. Back to the fast hand combinations. Mixing kicks in from very close range. That's hard to do. Garcia. Ducks under that spinning kick, but the right hand by Garcia landed. Cruz seems to be holding on. He, another right hand. Cruz was able to jam that flying side kick. Cruz again seem, seems to be a little winded at this point. Both these fighters know they're fighting for the Bantamweight Championship of the United States. Right now that title is vacant. Either one of these guys could be the U.S. champion and they don't want to give up, but Cruz definitely is stunned from the earlier rounds where he has hit the canvas a total of three times. He lost his footing there, spinning back this on top of the head. His eyes crossed and he went straight down. He doesn't look like he's going to get up this time. It's over. And he is out. Unbelievable. At one minute, 30 seconds in the fifth round, a knockout by Felipe Garcia, the new United States champion.